What's up, Smack'em Nation? It's your boy, Wayne6578, bringing you guys another Madden 20 tip video. And today, I have for you the best red zone scoring scheme in Madden 20. You will score a lot of touchdowns and not just kick field goals with this scheme. The plays are in the Patriots playbook and are best run from the five yard line out. The formation is the U-Trips weak or gun white off trips pats. And the plays are doubles in, wide receiver screen, and 56 trap. 56 trap, wide receiver screen, and doubles in. Let's look at the player setup. For your outside right receiver, you want your tallest and best catching receiver in this position. Your slot receiver, you want a really good blocking receiver. For your running back, you want your best, fastest, best catching running back. And your tight end, you want to be your best blocking tight end. So this is the play doubles in, a great scoring play. Only two reads. I know we have a lot of different routes out here, but we're only looking at two reads. We're looking at the right side for circle. And then we're looking at the left side for that running back out of the backfield. Now, if it's zone, like right here, this is man defense, you're going to try to hit that running back and score a touchdown with him. Whenever it's man defense, you're going to try to hit that running back. So if it's a zone play, right here, this is man again. We can wait, try to hit that running back and score a touchdown. Soon as it's zone, guys, I'll show you how you throw this. This is a zone. We throw it, pass lead, towards the sideline, and possession, catch it. Those cornerbacks and those safeties glitch out for some reason when it's zone. This is a man. I don't like it. I'm going to try to hit that running back and score that touchdown with him. I think I might have stepped out of bounds. But real simple, easy read. Real simple, easy read, guys. This is a zone. Let's pass it that towards the outside and possession, catch that. And you'll score a lot of touchdowns. You'll score a lot of touchdowns if you just call this play that. That's man. Let's hit that running back. We didn't get it off, but the running back was wide open. It's man. Let's hit the running back. Score a touchdown. That route that the running back is on beats man. Destroys it. No man can keep up with that guy, especially if he's fast. This is man. Let's hit that running back. And let's just score a touchdown. Real simple, easy read. Again, I'm running this from the five-yard line out. You can run it about the seven. Okay, this is zone. Let's pass that, lead that, and possession catch that. Make sure you pass lead that and possession catch it. If you don't, it will get picked off. I don't like that one. Let's try to hit that running back. I really should have went for that receiver, but I didn't like the way it was. That's a man defense. Our running back is going to be open if we can get in there. Come on, Nick. Stay away. Oh, we'll run this a few more times. That's a zone. Let's get that one open. And right there, I waited too long. Make sure you pass that quick as soon as you notice it's a zone. That's a zone. We're passing it right now. Just like that. If you wait, it will get picked off. You see, last time I waited. zone we're passing that quick it's two people over there but we're still getting that off i don't think i possession catch that make sure you possession catch that but if you wait it will get picked off that's a zone pass lead to quick possession catch it just like that guys always glitches out always score touchdowns we'll run it two more times and then we'll break down the next play that's a man defense let's hit that running back let's score a touchdown last time if it's zone you're going to circle pass lead to towards the sideline that's a zone pass lead towards the sideline possession catch now let's break down the next play which is the wide receiver screen now this is the next play the wide receiver screen i don't do anything as far as adjusting and i only have one read on this play again we're running this from the seven yard line to the five yard line all the way up to about the three now when we do this play we wait until that wide receiver turns around he's ready to catch it let those blocks develop and get on into that end zone. 
Usually when you catch that ball, run diagonally towards the pile line. Okay, turn around right there. Don't know why he did that, but don't pass it when it's like that. Turns around, he's ready. Blocks are developing. Score a touchdown. Really, really great play. Compliments that doubles in. You can run this one too. Look at those blocks. Make a move on one dude right there. For some reason, they got back there. But that's why you want your best blocking receiver out there. Look at that. Look at those pancakes. Let's get on off of me. Let me score that touchdown. And Mac had to help out. I would have scored. Here we go. Right there. That was a bad throw. Probably shouldn't have threw that one. You want to see those blocks developing. Like right there. Oh, come on. Hold the block, Edelman. We'll call this a few more times. Be careful when you play this, when you do this one. If you do this one wrong and they're playing it, that will be a pick six. So your tallest uh, receiver will be able to throw off most of those players. I like those blocks. But it just complements that play and if you run it right like right here everyone is blocking easy 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 guys we'll run this three more times and then we'll go into the run i like that i like that come on hold the blocks guys hold the blocks i don't like that one i don't like that one you want them to engage on those blockers when you're throwing that ball. Like I like to see pancakes happening like that when I throw that ball. I like to see pancakes happening. That tells you that they're picking up those blocks and you're probably going to get into that end zone. Just like that, guys. This is the last play, the 5-6 trap. Really great play. All we do is run this towards the sideline and get into the end zone. Every once in a while, we'll have to cut it back and not go towards the sideline, but you just got to reach your blocks. Like right here, Khalil Mack was right there. We had to cut that back in, but you won't be playing Khalil Mack every time. One dude, usually we make a move on that one dude and you score. So, like I said, it's real easy right there, Khalil Mack. Nice little block shit. Right there, we scored another touchdown. Really, really simple, guys. This play with all the other plays, really great red zone. Oh, Khalil Mack. Oh, all these people. You don't want to do that. I'm playing around. Hicks off me really simple guys really simple these three plays I guarantee you you will score touchdowns you will score touchdowns We'll run this two more times. This is how I run it. This is how I score touchdowns. One dude to beat, maybe two. Hold that block, guy. That's why you want your best blocking receivers on this side. Look at those blocks. Look at those blocks, guys. It's your boy Wayne6578. Yep, I'm out it, but I'll be back. Thanks for watching, guys. It's your boy Wayne6578. Subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell to be notified and join the Team Smack'em Nation. Let's go.